rocking, guys. We're rocking. All right, guys, it's Doug again. What's going on, everybody? So, we're in the almighty camper today. And I'd like to show you guys around a little bit. So I show you what's going on with my project here. And yeah, she is a project, but she is a working project. Yes, everything works in her. So, you're probably asking yourselves, well, why? Why are you doing this today? Or what are you doing today? Well, I'm putting in an air conditioner. I um, found it on, I found this idea on YouTube. Go figure, right? That's why I'm on YouTube. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the guy credit, but I'm going to show you how to do it, how I'm going to do it, and what I actually had to do to get this thing to stay up now. Um, cause before when I had it out last year, I could not have it up. It would not stay up. So I, we used, um, those extension poles that you use for painting, like, you know, painting, okay. You're painting your walls and you can twist them and they collapse. So it looks like broomsticks. Well, we use those. Actually, I have another use for those um, extendable broomsticks or whatever the heck they're called. I don't care what they're called. Um, this is what I got planned. Oh, right, this is what I got planned. I'm just bleeding. Um, not a big deal. So, here's what I got planned, guys. The air conditioner is going to go here. I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to cut into. I'm not going to cut into it. I already have this. Already um, unzipped. So what I got planned on is putting it here, but I'm going to have Velcro. All right, Velcro is going to go on the canvas. It's going to go on the air conditioner. I want another piece to fill in the void. Okay, there's going to be a big hole there. So when I kind of put the Velcro on the canvas, kind of push it down where it's tight. I'm going to have like one of those um, wood clamps or something, you know, something just to hold it, hold it at its tightest point. So I couldn't put my, I can't put mine, like I said, in front of the stove. I'm putting it here right by the sink, okay, right in front of the sink. Here is what's going in there. It's a one by two extruded aluminum tube okay that's all it is guys extruded aluminum tube look inside the tube guys look inside the tube look to the tube for your answers that was dumb <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna use three of those and i'm gonna add put them like this okay on the ends so this way this is going to be upside down, but it's going to give you an idea, okay? So when I put it like this, the edge of the edge of the air conditioner is going to be on this on this part. It's going to be hanging over this edge. So I'm going to drill a hole through here, okay, and a hole through the top or the bottom of this one. And I'm going to put a nut and a bolt, and a bolt two washers, a nut and a bolt, clamp it together, okay? Now, between the voids here in this, in this galley, I'm going to put this, sort of like this. I'm going to cut this in half. I might even cut it long ways and then cut it long ways. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it down here so it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see it. Okay, do you, get what, do you guys get where I'm coming from? All right, if you're not, I'll explain. Whoa, sorry about that. So if you're not familiar with where I'm coming from, let me explain. This is only like half inch, you know, it's, it's press board. It's not gonna hold any weight. This is hardwood. Well, it's not hardwood, it's pressure treated, pressure treated um, 
you know, stud. Okay, this is gonna hold. So what I'm gonna do is put a piece down on this side too. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece down on this side. And I'm gonna put holes, okay? I'm gonna drill holes. Wait a minute, okay, I gotta go out. <laughs> so I gotta put holes here, put like, let's just say two holes here and two holes over here. Okay, now they're gonna be half inch bolts. What I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a bolt, two washers, and a nut. Both sides. It's gonna hold. And this ain't going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. This I can't even you can't even bend it. It's not going anywhere. Um well I do have plans for it. One of two things. I'm going to either scuff it up and paint it, or I'm gonna take um like mag polish or something like that some kind of a you know something and try to brighten it up a little bit make it chromey or something like that i don't know yet but yeah so that's my plan so even before i can even do well before i can do that i gotta clean that air conditioner um, before I can take it on any big trips, I gotta get the bearings done. I've gotta get this electrical sorted out. We've got a bad um, outlet on the other on the opposite side from where I'm sitting. Um, it keeps tripping. Um, I think it's bad because um, I went over electrical many times. I don't see any shorts or anything like that. Um, probably have to fill up the propane if we're gonna use the. Um, gas the gas stove it's just a little two burner gas stove it's nothing made it's nothing fancy um what i am going to do too with this i just happened to think about what i wanted to say about that is when it does come time for it to rest on something it's either going to be this or i'm going to use a piece of that um that very fine aluminum that i have um, or I have a couple other, um, two by fours that I might use for, um, stilt legs. I don't know yet. We'll see which way I want to go with this. Um, hopefully this air conditioner still works because it's been sitting in my parents' house for quite some time. I'm not even sure if it works anymore. Um, but yeah, let me take you, give you guys a walk around the camper real quick outside. Okay, because I'm sitting inside, so why don't we go outside? Ah, there we go. So yeah, this is what she looks like. Now, I do want to point out, I guess I'm going to do it this way. Here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to show you the back side right here, what we had to do. Right here's your cables. This is what, this is what makes the dream work, guys. You have three of these, three of these little pulleys that go down. You've got the cable to go all the way down. Okay, there's an anchor point for this. Okay, there's an, this, this is the anchor point for that one. The anchor point for this one is over here. It goes, it's down here somewhere. The hell is that? It's up here, it's behind here. Okay, so, way up here, there's another cable. I know, I'm way up here, guys. Way down here. If you can feel it up in here, there is another cable. No, there's not. No. Right here. No. No. But it was a pain in the ass to do, man. And don't ask me to do them again, because I'm not doing it again. I will not do it again. So you can see, I don't got the beds up. I mean, for what I was doing, I'm not, you know, I'm not putting it up for that. And there's the other side. I'm not going to walk all down that way for that. I will walk out here so you guys get a wider angle of what's going on with the camper here. That's her, baby. It's our little Fleetwood. That's our little Fleetwood. Little 96 Coleman Fleetwood tile. Coleman. Same people make it coolers. Actually, that's wrong. 
give you guys a little tidbit about what happened with Coleman, uh, the, the trailer part of Coleman. They apparently went bankrupt. Big, long story. They were supposed to be bought out by Viking. Um, things didn't materialize, and they were told to cease operations immediately. Um, so Coleman doesn't make the trailers anymore, but they're still, but they're like their lanterns and their coolers and their gas, everything is still, um, you know, still in the black. So why mess that up, right? So, so yeah, um, it's a nice little camper, but by the time we're ready to rebuild this thing, we're going to be wanting a different camper anyway. Um, but she's serving her purpose, let me tell you. It's a nice little solid little solid little camper. It pulls down the road straight and smooth. So I shouldn't have any issues with the um with the uh bearings being chafed or anything. They should be fine. I don't feel any roughness or anything in the pull. Um I mean she needs paint here and there. I already painted the step, I gotta paint the frame and all that. The trailer frame. Um, other than that, man, we're ready to rock, man. We're ready to go. <laughs> now, speaking of Coleman, I'm going to show you guys something here really cool. No, wait, is it? No, they're igloo. I'm sorry. These are called Max Cool. I heard something, sorry. So these are called Max Cool. Max Cold Legend series. They're made by Coleman. By igloo. Okay. These things, they are pretty good. They actually lasted three days with ice in them, which isn't bad. Um, I know they say four days or five days, but no, you know, unless you want to buy a Yeti, and I don't have Yeti money. Um, I have some money, but I don't have Yeti money. Yeah, I like to have a Yeti, but hey, it's all right. It is what it is. I always make do of everything, so. So yeah, we got two of those coolers for drinks, food. I have another cooler, smaller cooler. I think it's like an 18 can cooler. I could probably use that for some more drinks and stuff. Or um, I have a jug, a couple jugs I could take. Um, but yeah, man. It's like our family is ready. We are ready to get the heck out of this house and just go somewhere and just have some fun with some friends. And we are rocking, baby. We're going. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get underneath to show you guys what was going on, but I just don't feel up to it right now. I've just been busy all day, so I'm going to get back at it. So. Once everything's done, I will show you what's up. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace out.